We're making magnetic pin cushions and we're starting right now. <laughs> It's Elizabeth from ElizabethMadeThis.com helping you sew something creative. If that is up your alley, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss anything. So today I am, we're doing a not sewing sewing project, if that makes any sense. So there's lots of, I've been, I've been talking lately about little quick things that you can make as gifts for people to give to just friends for the holidays. So let's pretend that you have a buddy who sews and you really, really want to give them a magnetic pin, magnetic pin cushion. Magnetic pin cushions are really helpful because you can go around your sewing room and you can just turn them upside down and just go and it's like a little vacuum for your pins, which is really nice if you've ever stepped on a pin, right? <laughs> I have I have just a plain magnetic paint cushion and I use it probably more than my other ones because it is really nice to just go spread over your pens, no problem. But it's not super cute. It's just really it's just a plain little block of plastic and it's got the magnets up inside of that. Very practical but not super cute. So I thought let's just make something really fast and simple that also looks nicer and also has that same functionality, right? So what you need is just some, just any kind of basic small little dish, a small plate. You could find it around your house or maybe you have some teacups that the teacup broke and you still have the little, the little plate left over. I know I have several of those. Uh, I found, I found these guys at the thrift store for less than a dollar. I mean, I think they were, they were 60 cents. They were 60 cents. So just some kind of small little dish. And then you need some strong magnets. I got mine at Hobby Lobby. They're the, those little black disc kinds. And then you need some E6000 glue. And then you need some a, another unusual craft, craft supply that I think is a perfectly legitimate craft supply, which is nail polish. True confessions here, I don't wear the nail polish because it really bothers. I don't like that feel of it on my hands personally, but I love the colors. So I often use them for my sewing projects for buttons and just all kinds of stuff. So we're gonna, get, we're gonna put our nail polish to good use here. So let me show you how to make one of these and I'll see you on the other side. So with this version of the pin bowl, I just, I just took regular nail polish and I just kind of painted it in just like a little fun design and gave it like some little, some little brush strokes on the bottom just to, for some contrast. But I'm gonna try and marbleize this one. We're gonna see how that works out. I've just got this and I personally don't have fancy nail polish. If you have fancy nail polish, you go for it. Since I don't wear it, I don't, I just tend to buy colors that I like. And that is my deal, but you do whatever it is that you like. So I've got some warm water here and I'm just gonna kind of dab it in here and add a couple different colors. Try and work a little fast here. So I'm gonna take my dish and I am just going to dip it right there in there and this is kind of weird but it just kind of comes straight off outside of the water so it kind of acts like a resist because it did the nail polish just floats right on top of it pretty sweet pretty sweet so now I am just gonna set this aside and just let it I'm gonna get that off my fingers how about that I'm gonna let this just dry So I actually took that favorite aqua color and I just, I thinned it out with some, some nail polish remover just to kind of do that. So I am just going to make some little, little stars or something.
So I finished painting my, my little my little dish here and I'm gonna just flip it over and I have these really, really strong magnets. I, I got mine at Hobby Lobby, but uh, you can find them other places. But they're, you can see how strong they are. Woo, <laughs> super strong. So I'm just gonna grab one of these and I'm gonna grab some E6000 glue and just glue it in place on the, <laughs> not there, on the bottom, <laughs> you can see, ah! <laughs> I'm going to put it on the bottom side. Oh my goodness. Okay, on the bottom side of my dish. My dish. Oh man, I'm going to have to clean it up later. <laughs> so now I have glue on the bottom of my magnet. That's awesome. Okay, so I'm just going to set that aside and let it glue. And let's show you the magnet test for the other one. So I'm just taking a handful of magnets here and see if they fall out. Nope, no fallout. Thanks, magnets. Okay, so the thing about the commercial magnetic pin cushions versus the, the DIY ones is that the, the commercial ones are definitely stronger. I mean, you can see if I just do the test here. Woo! Super strong. Those magnets there. If I do the same thing here, it just, it doesn't have that quite, kind of same reaction to it, even though this one is cuter, and even though if I turn it upside down, I'm not losing any pins, right? So it's still functional, it's still really cute, but what if we could, what if we could take this one and make it cuter? So I've got here some Mod Podge, and I've got some just basic scrapbooking paper. So I am just gonna, I'm gonna cover it with the Mod Podge, and it's just gonna be cuter. So first things first, I am just gonna kind of figure out where I want to be and it's just like a present so I'm gonna figure out where I want it to kind of center I sort of like these these sort of colors so I think I'm gonna have it hang around there and I'm just gonna make it a little bit bigger than what I need it to be because that's always good we can always kind of you know cut away more than we need and then I'm just gonna grab just a scrap of a scrap of cardboard to work on so that I don't mess up my surface here. I am going to use just a, a regular painting brush. This is actually my favorite brush. I use it for all my leather painting and things like that. So I use it for a lot of stuff. We're going to open up our Mod Podge here. Just give it a nice little... I'm going to coat the back side of this. And I'm just going to pop it into place right there. our little our little DIY magnetic pin bowl pin cushion thingy really passed the magnetic test which is pretty awesome right really simple super easy to make and also much cuter than the plastic kind that you can make and plus plus actually probably less less expensive than than the magnetic pin cushions too so great little gift idea I hope you will give it a try and make your own and let me know if you do. Dash, hit me up on the Instagram at Elizabeth made this and I would love to see a pic of whatever it is that you make. And yeah, what are you making for people for, for the holidays? Do you have any grand plans that you're doing? Stuff that you're making? Be sure to watch here for more quick and easy makes that you can make for people on your holiday gift list and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Hey guys, I hope you had a fun time gluing stuff to to pottery, making a little magnetic pin bowl. <laughs> There's lots of other cool stuff going on here on Elizabeth Mavis, so go ahead and check that out and I will see you in the next video. See ya.